every day I have the blues is a blues in B flat. So that's sixth fret. Second string to first string. So let me play the first phrase. So it's a blues in B flat, that means we're at the sixth fret. Classic BB King move here. Same fret, second string to first string. Six, six, slid to 11. So vibrato. Very fast vibrato. Hammer, nine to 10 on the first string. And cut it short, staccato after that. That's your, your standard lick. Um, everybody should know this lick. Everybody probably plays this lick. 11 on the second string. 9 to 11 on the first string. Bend 11 up. Release it and pull off to 9. Come back to 11 on the second string. When you hit 9 on the first string there at the end, you push it up a little bit. Quarter tone bend. Six to eleven on the second string, third finger. Nine with your first finger, back to eleven on the second string. Take your first finger on the second string, nine, slide from nine to six. string six to seven, second string six to eight, slide that up to eleven, second string, quick hammer nine to ten. There's our move again, classic move. Eleven bent up, released, pull off to nine, eleven on the second string. The second time he does this, and he pushes up, releases when it comes up to that he pushes it hear how that goes up that's very cool not just that's lame uh, I got a 50% one here somewhere too good, but I think that's okay.
Blues and B flat. That'll put us at the sixth fret. And the first phrase is this. Your standard flat three to three, fifth, and octave. I call it octave because it's the high note. It's the root. Strings are third string, six hammer to seven on the third string. Come across the second string and the first string both at six. Do that again. The second string and first string part. And then slide up to 11. If you've seen my other videos, if you learned any BB King, if you play any blues, you know this kind of thing. Because this note here, at the 6th fret on the 1st string, is the same as the 11th fret on the 2nd string. So they go like this. Like I said, I'm going to start it again. 6 to 7 on the 3rd string, hammer. 2nd string, 6. 1st string, 6. Then again, 2nd string, 6. 1st string, 6. Slide to 11 on the 2nd string. Put some vibrato on there. and So this is a higher version of this. Now we have this familiar box pattern. And this is 11 on the second string. 9, 11, hammer on the first string. And 11 up. Release it, pull it off. No, I don't think you pull this off. Play the ninth fret at the, on the first string. Play 11. And you see you push that up a little bit. Watch this. 11 bent twice without a release. Well, it's a silent release. And then you pull off to nine. Nine on the first string, pull off 11 to 9 on the second string, 10 on the third string, slide it. Back here at 6, and we're going to do this move again while we slide to 11. 6 on the second string, 6 on the first string. Now we're going to play 11 on the second string to 11 on the first string. To, we're going to bend 10 a little bit. That's a, in between a quarter tone and a half tone, that bend. We end up at 11 on the second string. By the way, that's our root. That's another B flat. And let's move again. 11, second string. 9, 11, first string. Bend. End up at 11 on the second string. But this time the pull off is between 11 and 10. And then a quick hammer, 9 to 10, on the first string. That other one was on the second string. begins the second chorus. Um, a chorus is just when the, the like, let's say it's a 12 bar blues, when the 12 bar blues comes around, the second time would be the second chorus. So like if a soloist, you know, plays five choruses, that means the progression came around five times. I did say five, right? It goes right into the bend. And he ends with the bend. You should know by now this is 11 and 9 on the first two strings. So. Oh, 
so he got hit. Okay, so here's what I'm missing. He comes like that. So he pushes 11 on the first string up. Pull off to your first, um, so 11 up. And just pull off to 10. And then it's a little bit of a rake, two strings here at 11. So 10 on the first string. So instead of nine, which is blues thing, he's doing like chromatic. numbers I really hate this part with the numbers and shit okay 11 up pull off to 10 rake 11 and 11 first two strings to 10 on the first string 11 on the second string twice really cool lick here this sounds to me like a Louis Jordan lick like a horn lick, like something he heard off um, one of those jump blues records, or maybe live performance. You start with your second finger on 10 on the third string, you slide to 12. You hammer 11 to 13 on the second string. Come back to 12 now with your second finger on the third string to your first finger at 11 on the second string twice. Now you got your third finger here. You put it on 13, you slide to 15. That's the second string and you have 13 on the first string. That's why it's always good to go back to the source with these blues things because, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan, as great as he is, you're getting it second, third hand, whereas with B.B. King, you're getting a first hand and maybe he heard this off a of jump blues, off of a horn section or something like that. And there's a lot of interesting stuff that as you get, you know, it's like like copying a video or copying an MP3. As you get, you know, generation by generation removed, you lose all these little details and it becomes, it becomes good, but you, you lose a lot. There's my speech for today. outlining a B-flat chord here. That's 10 on the first string, 6 on the first string, 6 on the second string, 7 on the third string, 8 on the fourth string. Your little F shape here, which one played at the 6th fret, is now a B-flat. here five to seven on the third string with your second finger six on the second string eight slid to ten on the second string six uh, I'm sorry eight slid to ten eight slid to ten on the first string second string six to eight roll over to eight on the first string Back to eight on the second string. So that's six to eight, hammer and pull, and they get eight on the second string. Six on the first string, six on the second string, slid away. Every day, back to the vocals. Another horn sounding look to me. I mean, that's not your standard, but people, you know. It's different from that. It's from an earlier generation. I mean, listen to the drums, listen to the piano. I mean, they got a real hard swing feel to it. I'm ranting again.